I'm Mrs. Schaefer and I'm going to share some information with you about the IDEA art class. Um, in that class you will focus on realism, abstract art, non-objective art, and you'll also focus on doing three-dimensional work as well as two-dimensional work. I just want to show you a few examples of some of the things you might be doing. This is an optical illusion painting that you would end up using tints and shades of various painting techniques to create. This is a copper foil relief project where you'd start with a flat surface and end up creating something that would become three-dimensional. Here is an example of something that you would use uh, tools that you'd scratch away the surface and it's called scratch board. Here's an example of a project where we use just colored pencil and you focus a lot about the elements of art and the principles of design. This is something you'd create in the beginning of the year to give you a complete basis and understanding so that you understand the elements of art and principles of design and how they relate to everything you do with any piece of artwork. Here's an example of a non-objective piece of artwork which is using watercolor to convey an emotion. And you'll also be doing something with clay. One of the projects that students sometimes do in the idea class is a clay gargoyle. Um, every year things change a little bit, so I'm not saying that these are things that you will definitely be doing, but those are some of the things that you may be doing. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schaefer, and I'm here to share some information with you about the image art class. In that class, you'll focus a lot on various painting techniques, drawing techniques. You'll learn about abstract art, realism. You'll also learn about um, creating three-dimensional art as well. I just want to show you a few examples of some of the projects that you could possibly end up doing throughout the year. Um, I teach the students how to do a step-by-step -step landscape painting where you start um, with just the background and slowly layer all the details on top. We also do a cubism project with colored pencil where you learn how to do different shading techniques using colored pencil. We also do a watercolor project where we study the artist Georgia O'Keeffe and we learn how to paint flowers using watercolor techniques. We also do a self-portrait unit where you learn about the artist Chuck Close and you start with a grid technique just like you see here where you'll learn how to, you'll take a picture of yourself and then we'll learn how to grid it out and draw every box step by step so that you'll actually have a drawing that actually looks like you. We also do some charcoal drawing where you will look at your own hands and start to study how you can see all of the details within the fingers and everything um, within your own hands using charcoal and white pencils. We also do a pottery project where you will learn how to use coils to create a piece of pottery and then we'll do some type of painting techniques on top to create the details. There's several other things we do throughout the year but I just wanted to share with you some of the examples that you could end up doing throughout the year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Richards and we're going to talk about computer and careers in business, a business elective here at Franklin. We normally cover seven different units during our elective course, real world technology, marketing and advertising, web page design, international business, stock market investing, banking, and cartoon animation. A couple of highlights from those units. Uh, the first one is an online investment simulation where we do, uh, basically we give you $100,000 to build your own investment portfolio. You get to compete against other students in this school and in the district. Uh, the next one that we like to talk about is our banking simulation where you get to actually use Adobe Photoshop or Publisher to create your own uh, customized checks. Our web page design, we use Adobe software or Microsoft software to create your own web page that you can get published on the internet. And then lastly, we have our cartoon animation, which where we use Microsoft uh, PowerPoint to create one of these nice cartoons here. And I'm Mr. Richards, and that was Computer and Careers in Business. Hi. I'm Ms. Leahy and I teach family and consumer education. I teach teen living skills and work in community. In teen living skills, we focus on food preparation. So for example, we would focus on measuring ingredients and we would make something like muffins or cookies or other foods. We also focus on the food guide pyramid and eating well, as well as building and maintaining strong relationships with friends and family. In work and community, we talk about careers related to family and consumer science. So we talk about working in childcare, and you would be able to take home our baby simulators, which act like real babies. They cry, they have to be fed, they need to be burped, and they need to have their diapers changed. We also talk about careers in food service, and my work and community class are experimenting where we made rock candy. This is something that would be related to working in a food science career. 
We also talk about interior design and we do some sewing. We also talk about working in the healthcare field and talk about careers in general. To the Franklin Music Department. My name is Mrs. Rigo and I've been teaching here at Franklin Middle School for 19 years. I love Franklin and I love music, so this is the perfect job for me. Our music department has three performing classes and one general music class. I teach the choir, which is the class for you if you like to sing. We usually have two school concerts a year, and then we have a few performances that get added during the year. We also have the opportunity to sing at Solon Ensemble Festival each year. You can take this class as your fine arts class or as an elective. band and orchestra at Franklin Middle School. This is only my first year teaching here, but my 15th in the district. Um, when you take band, you get to play wind instruments such as a trombone, trumpet, flute, clarinet, saxophone, drums. When you take orchestra, you'll play a string instrument. This is a cello. Um, any variation of this, bigger and smaller, we have. I look forward to seeing you next year as your elective. Hi, I'm Casey Alt, and I teach tech ed over at Franklin Middle School. Um, we offer two classes for 7th and 8th grade. One is called TED, Transportation Engineering and Digital Design. The other one's called Construction and Manufacturing. Uh, the TED class, we start off on the computers using a 3D uh, modeling software called Soft, or SolidWorks. We'll go through and do some digital drawings like this where we design rockets and different types of things like that. Uh, we go through and we build rockets. Later on in the spring, we'll go through and fly these. Um, we also will do things like CO2 dragsters. A couple other things that we do in this class are t-shirt prints. Students will make a drawing um, on the computer, print it off on a special laminate, and iron it onto a t-shirt. The other thing that we're going to do is we make movies on the computer. Um, we also dabble in flight. Sometimes, if we have enough time, we can make a glider. In the other class, CM, or Construction Manufacturing, we work um, mostly in the lab here where we will do things from manufacturing products like coat holders, um, washer toss games, some stools or plaques. Um, otherwise, we can use the um, lab to produce other things like construction type things as far as bridges, and we also build a model scale house. Hi, my name is Mrs. Jean Anzio. I'm one of the health and fine teachers here at Franklin Middle School. I'm going to talk to you about the eighth grade health class. This health class is meeting your high school requirement for health. You get to take it at the middle school and you get to earn a half a credit for high school graduation. So by taking it here, it allows you to take more classes at the high school. So if you're interested in earning a half a credit towards your high school graduation, please consider taking the 8th grade health Hi, I'm Mrs. Byro, Spanish teacher here at Franklin Middle School. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Spanish 1 class. Uh, Spanish 1 is a class that meets every day. Students will learn the basics of the Spanish language and about the culture of the people who speak it. You'll learn how to have beginning conversations in Spanish and how to listen, speak, read, and write in Spanish. Um, topics covered will include greetings and dates and numbers, You'll learn how to describe things and people. You'll learn how to talk about your family and talk about school and things associated with school. Um, successful completion of this class will also earn you a full high school credit. Hope to see you there. Are you there? Class? Oh, there you are. Hi, I'm Mr. Kehoe and I'm the AVID elective teacher. Now you might be thinking, what's AVID? Is that social studies? Is it math? Is it science? Where does it fit? 
It's all those things and so much more. AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. And it's a college prep course that's designed to take you from where you're at to college. The mission of AVID is to close the achievement gap and provide everybody the opportunity to go to college. Now is AVID right for you? Let's find out. The AVID student profile is designed for students with average to high test scores. They're kind of in the middle. They're not your 4.0, everything comes easy student. These are students that show promising ability, but they work extra hard. They really want to be successful. So they have high effort. You do have to meet a certain criteria to be a member of the AVID family. Primarily, you have to be the first person in your family to go to college. You might come from a low income family or other special circumstances. Why AVID? It's an opt-in program. Only students that want to be there are welcomed into the family. What are you going to do? You're going to highly develop your organizational skills. You're going to develop your note-taking skills. You're going to meet some great people in the community that are very successful. And we're going to take some college visits so that you can see what the future holds for you. If you have questions and are thinking about joining AVID, Talk to your family, see what they think, come and see me. I'm in room 305 or 307. Thank you very much.